Yeah, so I've got some SSR mesh wheels and uh, they're not shy of a bit of poke, so 8J ET minus 14s, they're a bit beasty, so gonna hammer this into submission or hammer the arches off of it. That's that's the way it's gonna go. <laughs> right. I did buy some metal arches, um, but I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use them yet. There isn't a huge amount, well, I say there isn't a huge amount, it's poking out by a fair old bit each side. I'm thinking I might be able to get a roll on it, but this car's had a bit of a, had a, bit of a used pass, so to say, so I think there's probably a bit of filler in them arches, but we'll see, it might, it might be an absolute disaster. My trusty arch rolling. Coverage pedals. Coverage pedals. Is there a slider on the seat? Move forward. I am, that's as far as it comes. That's probably caught in the cage. It does come a lot more forward. Right, let's set this up in this tree and we'll see if we can get the action. If you hear me shout and swear, it means the arches have fallen out. But we'll see. Let's have a put it out there. I need myself a GoPro. Jesus Christ, this is ridiculous. Right, let's eat this up and uh, we'll give it a go. All we do is just go forward on this one. They feel a bit crispy under there, I reckon these arches won't fall off. <laughs> we have to put a bit more arches coming in. use the arches although uh although that don't look bad no it's come out it's come out a lot but it's just uh it's just nowhere near obviously the width for the wheels so it looks good i mean it does look good and just poke out a fair bit another successful roller <laughs> we'll see we'll have a we'll have a bit more of a play a bit and then uh decide what we're gonna do Take the wheel off and knock that bit out, and it's good to go. 
Pretty damn good. Oh, spicy. need to go forward a couple of times on this one I think. This arch from that last drift day is absolutely annihilating. <laughs> on this arch is covered here. It's terrible. Actually we'll go one more. Yeah there's a load of rust bits under there, look, a load of filler. Yeah it's had a wallop at some point. Chuck more filler on that. Right, go back again bud. the original paint underneath the same colour and then it's got like a layer of filler and then another load of paint on top of it. <laughs> I suspected the arches were a little bit full of plugs so yeah it's uh cracked out all that filler but they're rolled wouldn't eating it up that'd be fine they sit just above the tire so that'd do So yeah, we had a uh, we had good success actually on the arches. They, as I thought, exactly as I thought, they're uh, 
the car's been the car's been well used. It's it was a skid car before I got it. My mate Matt had it. He used to do all the like drift events. He'd done a few Matsuris in it. He'd done a few retro retro hill climb events in it and stuff. Um, but all of this arch was completely covered in filler, so it all proper broke out. So here, like you see, where it's had a prang before. Um, this was from the last drift day. All this crud was from the last drift day when I debated the tire. But yeah, it's you know. It's, I bought the car to use, I bought the car to skid, so that's what I've been doing with it. I don't regret it. It's uh it wasn't meant to start with. I think Matt had stove the side in at one point, had to replace a load of panels on it. But yeah, it's um still one of my dream cars, C33 Lauren. I'm so glad I got it. I, I love this car, it skids amazing. Um I just wanted to go retro with it, so I wanted to do the old school 15s. Um and obviously being like a five stud. Five stud is really rare in SSR mesh to find them in 15s five stud and them sizes. They're like I say, rears are an 8J minus 14. Um, I have got a pair of fronts coming uh, from Port JDM Garage. We've we've imported them from Japan. They are seven and a half J again, five stud, seven and a half J um, ET7, I believe. But yeah, we're uh. We're looking good. It's gonna, it's gonna be great when it's done. I can't wait. I'll, I'm meeting it up at some point. I'll get another few skid days in for it. Um, but yeah, we're, uh, we're getting there. Still got the uh, Ceph and the MX-5. These are our com um, these are our competition cars for the website. So these are both being given away. We sell stickers basically. So um, this one here has 120 odd, I think 120 odd stickers left before we do a giveaway on this. And the Ceph, um, this is absolutely rad. The RB25 powered. Um, it's got some real nice parts on this actually. Um, but that has got about 900 and something stickers left to sell before we give this one away but yeah if you want to go on a violentd.com you'll be able to buy the stickers and you'll get your free entry into the giveaway but yeah this is this is super cool but we are getting ready for the move so it's all a bit desolate out here at the moment all the sheds all stripped back um the house is all getting cleared out but we're moving into the new house and the new workshop on friday this week so yeah i'm super excited uh Anyone who don't know what I do, I do stickers. I, I, I produce stickers. Most people who, who watch this know what I do anyway. Um, there's some that I've done for Noriara, actually. Alexi at Noriara, he's to match his main can, 86, which are pretty cool. Um, I don't think, I've not seen him put them up for sale, so I think he's probably just keeping them and giving them out to people that he knows, but that's my company, obviously, Violent D. Um, and this is the, the skid toy. So yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you again soon. Ladies.